Welcome, welcome to Unapologetically Speaking with Dr. C. I am Dr. Candace Elaine, aka Dr. C, and thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. It is a blessing to be here with you, and for the ones that are viewing in, thank you. I am very grateful and very humbled to be here. I am enjoying this experience and this platform, and I cannot wait to have amazing women on here with me so we can talk about many things. But as of right now, we're going to just talk about a system that I created that I would like to come and share with you. I have shared this system with many of my clientele, and they have thrived on this. But first, before I shared this system with my clientele, I use me as a guinea pig. Everything that I incorporate within my businesses, such as the Watchers Group and Tail Couch, I use for myself because we all need some clarity. And I formulated the plan called CPA, and that stands for Clarity Plan Action. That's what it stands for. So today I would like to come to you and bring some insight on what you can do if you would like to get unstuck or make certain changes within your life and certain moves you would like to make and you don't know where, how, and what to do. So this little method that I created will help you with that. So if you need help with that, we can do it together or I'm just gonna give you a couple of steps today and you can write this down and you can go and try to implement it within yourself. So the first one is clarity. Now with clarity, that will be the who, what, and where who who you are i get this question i ask this question a lot to my clients who are you and they all say to me most of them 98 percent. i know right i was that way as well i don't know they don't know who they are they say i don't know i've lost myself along the way so that's where we will get clarity on that together to something that you can rethink take a deeper dive on it or you could do it with me or you could do it with someone else or maybe it's something you can do yourself. Who you are, that's the first thing we wanna get clarity on. We wanna get a clarity on what? What is it you want out of life? What, what do you want? What is your purpose? What is your gift? We were all put here with a gift and a purpose. I learned mine mm, quickly in life. However, it was ignored by certain circumstances and situations, so I had to shelf my gift and I wasn't able to live fully and do what I want to do due to circumstances. I was in survival mode, but we all have a gift and a purpose and a task. We all have a reason to be here. Ladies, let me tell you, you're not just here to pay bills and simply exist. That is not why you were put here. So we need to find out the purpose of that. Some of you know, some of you may not. So the second one would be the where, where you want to be. So after you find out who you are, what you want now where you want to be that is clarity and i'm going to elaborate a little bit when i say where where do you want to be and i'm not talking about from an apartment to a home to a trailer no 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 where do you want to be in life do you want to continue to work with uh, for someone if that's what you're doing or would you like to you know be a solopreneur or entrepreneur do you want to stick with the career you have or you want to change career are you a single mom do you want to get married do you want children do you not i don't know just where you want to be in life whatever your stance is now it can always be changed because that's the beautiful thing about being especially a woman but a human being we can change a tree gonna always be a tree a cat gonna always be a cat but you can change you'll always be a woman but you can change who you are as in what you want to be and things that you would like to change for growth that's the beautiful thing about being a human. So with clarity, those are the three steps that we should take a look at. If you do this plan with myself, with me, or you can do the plan yourself. So I suggest who, who you are, what you want, and where you want to be. Those are the three steps for clarity. Now let's move into action. For I'm, I'm sorry, let's move into plan. For the plan, I love the plan. Actually, it is my favorite step 
within the CPA. Plan, you will create an, an amazing plan that you will create with someone, yourself or me. You will create a plan, a step-by-step -step daily plan with zigzags in it. The reason why you must incorporate zigzag, because we all know, let's keep it real, ladies, this is unapologetically speaking. You do see the sign, right? <laughs> so this is unapologetically speaking. We keep it real here. It has to have zigzags because let's be real, shit happens real quick. I mean, we go on a plan and we're doing what we're supposed to do and we follow it step by step and then something happens. Whether it's an illness, whether you lose your job, you get another job, you sick, lose weight, something wrong with the food, the dog, the oil change, whatever it may be, there's always an issue because life kicks in. So when I create a plan for any of my clientele, I always have a couple of zigzags in there and they look at me and say so dr z what dr c why is that zigzag there oh because stuff happens things happen and we have to prepare for that okay i am a professional realist you have to prepare for and i call it in case yet that's another video insurance we have to prepare in case something happened so with the plan we're going to create a step-by-step daily plan that you would do with zigzags in it and within that plan there are three steps okay after creating that there are three steps you must put in that the first one you got to clean out the negative the negativity the negativity that's in here the self-sabotaging behavior the self-sabotaging thoughts you will have to clear that out that is imperative it has to be removed and i can show you how to do that in step two for the, we're still on the plan of action, we're still creating the plan, you will have to clean up the clutter. And when I say the clutter, the clutter from your mind, that's the negative, but also things that you watch, things that you say to yourself, your surroundings, and the company you keep. I'll repeat. And the company you keep. Sometimes we outgrow one another. So you may have to clear some things because when you're going on a certain path, and you're with a certain crowd, they may not be going that way. And sometimes you have to release in order to regroup. I'll repeat. Release in order to regroup. So you have to clear the clutter around you. You have to clear the clutter from your body. And I mean starting eating a little better, a little cleaner, exercising, even if it's for a walk. I didn't say you have to join a gym. I did not say that. Taking a walk is still exercise. Getting enough rest. Because you are going on a journey for your life with this plan. Because it's things that you would like to implement. And in order to do that, you're going to have to step your game up with the mind, body, and soul. Or mind, body, and spirit. You have to step your game up. So you have to get rid of, number one, the negative thought, self-sabotaging behavior. Those are things that you are doing to yourself. The second, clear the clutter. The people around you, toxic relationships. Clean up your car, your room. Because how you keep your car, how you keep your house is a reflection of you and what is in here. That's Those are signs of depression and anxiety. If it's all mess around you. Clear the clutter. So we will have to do that. The third one, you have to make a daily list. And it can be a small list. And that is how I start with my clients. And every day, you have to knock something off that list. Two to three things. I try to just incorporate two to three things on the list. Because a lot of us, especially women, I know I used to be one to do this. I'll have 18 things on the list and I'll probably get to three. Information overload is too much. It's too much for the mind, too much for the body. We're doing too much. Learn how to take a step back. Three things on a list, you know you can knock those out. And with someone like me in your corner, or you can go get someone else, or maybe you are disciplined enough to do it on your own, you need to knock out those three things. That is imperative that you do that. Whatever is on that list must be done. And it's one important thing that must be placed on the list. And that is called a mental break. You must take one or two mental breaks a day. That is very important. So that is for the plan. That is the blue, beautiful plan. Now we are going to go into action. For action, start moving. You got clarity. We talked about that. You have your plan. Action is really simple. 
But it's one of the hardest for some of my clientele to do, but they do it because I have a beautiful clientele. Those women are kick-ass amazing, but it's one of those that you got to push. You got to push when they get to the action. Like, okay, we have the clarity. We have the plan. Now we got to go into the action, and the action is simple, but it's one of the hardest things that some can do, and this is what it incorporates. Start moving. That's number one. Start working on that plan. I already gave it to you. Let's get it in. Let's get it in. Let's do it one step at a time. The next one for action, no excuse. There's no excuses. We got clarity. We made the plan. Start moving. Number three, remember the zigzag. You have to remember the zigzag. I, and it's very important that you stay mindful of the zigzag because when you are mindful of the zigzag moving within when we created the plan and when stuff come up, you're like, hey, I planned for it. I knew it. I, it's okay. We already incorporate that into the plan. So you have, So it's, I need you to be mindful of the zigzag. So I'll go over it again. Clarity, plan, action. Once you get clarity, we can formulate a plan. Once you get the plan, we can implement the action. That's it. It's a beautiful three-step system that can change your life because it, it has changed mine. I have given this to so many women, and the women have came to me and was like, wow, you were right. My life is unrecognizable, and you told me it will be. Exactly. It's a process. It does take work, and it takes discipline and consistency. And with this type of plan and this method, we can incorporate those things, and you can have that. So that is what it takes. So ladies, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, I would love to hear them from you because that is my amazing CPA plan. Clarity Plan Action. That is a method that I created, a three-step method that I created for all women to take the first step. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, just please, I would love to hear from all of you. And don't forget the zigzags. That's important. So thank you for tuning in to Unapologetically Speaking with Dr. C. And I hope to see and hear from all of you. And until next time, have a good day.